Remember the days when qualifying for a varsity sport in high school was an honor? Well, club sports have taken some of the shine off of high school athletics, so much so that some of the region's star athletes are being lured away from their neighborhood high school sports teams. Joining me is John Labita, Assistant CIF Commissioner for San Diego. John, what are club sports? What sports are involved? And what is the key difference between club sports and high school teams? Okay. Basically, just about every sport that's played right now at, at the high school level has a club program. Um, it can involve very detailed clubs, which are high emphasis clubs that are like soccer. Um, lacrosse is also emerging as a club program. Where The difference is, is that those programs play in the summertime. They don't play during the school year. They practice after the, the high school season is over, and then they go and compete nationwide. So they are taking their student athletes and they're traveling to different areas to compete against other club programs. And the exposure that is given to those athletes um, by college coaches that can't see them during the high school season because they're also coaching at the same time. So the big difference for them is the exposure that they get, the competitive level because they're competing against the highest level of competition, and um, then really the travel. Is CIF worried at all about the surge in club sports? Well, I think we are. I think we're, we're worried that we, we've lost some of the two and three sport athletes because athletes are starting to specialize when, before they get to high school. So at junior high school, they've already picked out the fact that they're going to be a lacrosse player or that they're going to be a volleyball player. If you look at most of the highly competitive volleyball programs in San Diego County, those young ladies have started playing from the time they were in sixth grade till now they hit high school. You don't find uh, very few athletes that come in anymore that have never played the sport and make the team because they're just purely athletic. And what's it like for a teenage athlete to be a part of club sports? Well, I, I think it's, it's a great atmosphere. I mean, um, but you have to be one of those overachieving student athletes. You know, you're not just going to be the average athlete and make a club program. Um, I think they have camaraderie much like high schools do. Mm -hmm. I think that the big difference is that they're paying to play. And uh, you hear that term in high schools also, especially with the budgets. And how much are they paying? Well, it can be as much as $2,800. It can be as much as $3,200 per month. Um, that doesn't include the travel that the parents are actually footing the bill for. So that's just to be, be a member of the club. And then they have to pay for the meals and the travel expenditures of the air flights and uh, wherever the team's going to actually travel. And what is the draw? What is, what is, the, what is the goal of the kids and the parents? Well, I think it's to, to ultimately get a college scholarship. And I think that you've, you've probably heard many studies that say if you took the same amount that you put into the club program, put it away for the 10 years that that student is in middle school and high school, you would probably end up paying for their college education or be close to it. But the draw is um, that I'm going to end up being a D1 athlete. Not, not everyone becomes a D1 athlete. So is that a realistic goal? Well, I think it's, there's, the percentages are not there. If you look at the, purely the percentages, it's 1%, 1 to 5% of athletes go on and play at the D1 level. What you'll find with Southern California athletes is they want to go to the USC, they want to go to UCLA, they want to go to Stanford. They may not be that blue chipper. They may be able to go to the Midwest, to the back east, and, and get some financial aid or get some um, athletic packages for them. But a lot of those athletes won't go. And, and so I guess the decision, if you're going to play in a club program, are you willing to go to away from sunny, sunny Southern California and play in, a, in a, a college in the Midwest or back east? Very quickly, how has this changed how high school parents interact with, with high school coaches? Um, I think they're a little bit more demanding. Um, and they want their son or daughter to play a key position like they do in their club program. It's not what's better for the team and for the program, it's what's best for me. And uh, you know, in most high school programs, you're going to see that they're saying we are team. Uh, there's no me in team. And unfortunately, some of the club programs bring that with them. So it's like, I'm, I, this is where I play for my club program. This is where, the, where my um, club coach says I should play, and this is where I want to play.
not what, what can I do to help the team. Okay, Barry, thank you so much for speaking sure. to us today. Thank you.